Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-4255. Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures Due to the widespread knowledge of the base anomalous properties of SCP-4255, it has been given the secondary classification of a cracked veil, uncontained anomaly. In order to suppress further information of SCP-4255, Procedure Yule 2 has been created. Procedure Yule 2 occurs as follows. Annually on 12 p.m. Coordinated Universal Time, November 22nd, memetic agents are to be implemented into all forms of media, including television programs, new works of literature, foundation front accounts on social media websites, and various forms of performing and visual arts. These memetic agents are designed to implant false memories into parents or guardians of any children who celebrate the holiday Christmas. These memories include the purchasing of gifts that will be given to their children by SCP-4255. On December 25th, and the placing of said gifts on that night by SCP-4255. Any individuals which have been unaffected by the memetic treatment described above are to be located and manually treated. Starting on 8 p.m. Coordinated Universal Time, December 24th, two unarmed military aircrafts are to locate, track, and follow all temporal versions of SCP-4255 and make note of any noticeable changes in behavior from SCP-4255. Lethal force is not permitted when interacting with SCP-4255. When all versions of SCP-4255 have vanished, all Foundation interference is to cease. After 12 a.m. Coordinated Universal Time, December 25th, social media is to be tracked for any images of or accounts with SCP-4255 and images or conspiracy theories centered around Procedure Yule 2. Any offending pieces of information are to be labeled as hoax or erased, with the publishers being located and treated to Class A amnestics. In extreme cases, all viewers of information described above are to be treated with Class A amnestics, with all social media being cleansed of any information on SCP-4255 or Procedure Yule 2 that these cases could spawn. Efforts to partake in a secondary interview with SCP-4255 are to be attempted as SCP-4255 seems to possess valuable information on controllable temporal anomalies and on the historical future of the human race. Description: SCP-4255 is a humanoid male with an aged appearance, approximately 1.4 meters in height and 150 kilograms in weight. SCP-4255 appears to be in his 60s or 70s. However, reports of SCP-4255 manifestations have dated back to 400 AD. SCP-4255 possesses a similar appearance to the traditional attire of the character Santa Claus. No current connection between SCP-4255 and the Bishop St. Nicholas have been made. Along with the red and gold ornate sleigh, that his character is known to be present in, designated SCP-4255-1. SCP-4255-1 is capable of flight via unknown means and is able to travel at speeds of approximately 100 km per hour, with SCP-4255 remaining inside SCP-4255-1 during flight even when scientifically impossible. SCP-4255-1 is drawn by eight cervid animals resembling Rangifer tyrandus, also known by the names caribou or reindeer. Although infrared scans show that these do not possess any heat signatures, and it is currently unknown if these are living organisms. SCP-4255 manifestations periodically occur at 8 p.m. Coordinated Universal Time, December 24th each year during which SCP-4255 will appear somewhere approximately 1 kilometers in the air above the Earth's surface in SCP-4255-1. SCP-4255 and or SCP-4255-1 appear to possess the ability to generate small-scale temporal anomalies. During its appearances, as many as 294 versions of SCP-4255 are present on across the globe at once with many versions processing visual differences 
that have not yet occurred to SCP-4255 from a linear standpoint. SCP-4255 manifestations always follow a similar pattern of events after its initial appearance. SCP-4255 will land on the roof or near a household of individuals that celebrate the holiday Christmas, regardless of religious background, and will use its temporal abilities to enter the household. SCP-4255 will then produce a multitude of wrapped gifts and toys, with number of gifts given varying from child to child. It is also of note that SCP-4255 has a significant understanding of the likes and dislikes of each child on Earth, with presents given having an 82.56% accuracy rate compared to what the children would like to have received for a gift at that time. All recorded gifts have been non-anomalous, with SCP-4255 actively avoiding the giving of gifts a child wants if it could be classified as anomalous. SCP-4255 will repeat this pattern until all children who celebrate Christmas on the planet have received at least one gift from it. Attempts to approach SCP-4255 or SCP-4255-1 in an effort to capture either anomaly on the ground or in the sky have resulted in failure, with SCP-4255 using its temporal abilities to evade capture. Addendum 4255-1 before an SCP-4255 manifestation on the year 2018, several houses of Foundation personnel were equipped with audio transmission devices, which was then used to make an official direct contact with SCP-4255 for the first time on record. Log 4255-1 Interviewed SCP-4255 Interviewer Researcher Mayor Begin Log Hello? Can you hear me? Who is this? This is researcher Charles Mayer. I come from an organization with- The SZP Foundation? They told me I'd run into you guys today. Aren't you the people always trailing in those jets? Those things are out up close, you know. Um, the SCP Foundation, yes. Who do you mean by they? Uh, well, it's probably gonna mess up time and cause some butterfly effect shit, but they told me to tell you guys this for some reason. Well, they're called the U.S. Department of Chronology. Pretty stupid name if you ask me. Chronology sounds like the most sci-fi thing ever. What year is it right now? I want to make sure I don't say anything too major. 2018. Uh, oh, God. Well, they said there's some government branch that keeps check over time travel and stuff, and, well, they sort of forced me to do this. I'd like to go find stuff from the past and, well, take it. I had one of Hitler's paintings before, uh, a block from those pyramids that were in Africa. You know, stuff like that. I'm afraid I don't quite follow. What does this have to do with you being... Well, being... I'm getting to that. Just give me a sec. So one day, some government cronies came and took me away. Thought I was being careful, I did. But I guess not careful enough. Probably have some way to detect time travel. Anyway, they told me I had to do this. Looked like I got off easy. But this got boring after a while. Been doing this for like... Two, two and a half years... One Christmas every day. Hmm, I see. So, do you have a real name, then? Stan Klein. I haven't been born yet. <laughs> That's always a weird thing to say. You probably know me as Santa Claus or something like that. You tell a kid your name at the 5th century and the half-deaf little shit tells everyone your name is Santa Claus. I hope some crazy government shoots me out of the sky so I can get this hell over with. <laughs> if you're a, a time traveler, th then when are you from? 2099. Huh. Well then, how do you have such a good understanding of each child's wants for the holiday? Is, is this some sort of future technology? Not sure I can tell you that. I've caused enough paradoxes with this one interview already. Wait a second. Are you guys going to put this in a document or something? 
Yes, this will be logged in. Shit! That's how they knew. They read this damn log. Excuse me? I ain't saying anything else. SCP-4255 uses a temporal anomaly to vacate the area in SCP-4255-1. End log. Closing statement. SCP-4255 refused all efforts to cooperate with questioning after the events of this interview, and instead yelled obscenities at interviewers when attempts to question were made. No records of a Stan Klein matching SCP-4255's description have been found. Addendum 4255-2 On September 4th, 2097, the Foundation Department of Chronology was formed after the discovery of replicatable, controllable travel non-linearly through time was discovered. After parallels between SCP-4255's described host organization and the newly formed department were made, Stan Klein, a man matching the physical description of SCP-4225, was tracked and placed into Foundation custody. It was later found that Klein had access to a temporal anomaly, allowing him to travel through time non-linearly. To avoid a possible CK-class reality configuration scenario or a PT-class paradoxical time breakdown scenario, the Foundation is to give Klein the full capabilities to perform the actions of SCP-4255, along with the recorded appearance of SCP-4255. A large sleigh, built to the specifications of SCP-4255-1, was created using several anomalies, making it capable of controllable flight. Along with the sleigh and Klein being equipped with devices designed to create small-scale, temporal anomalies. Eight heat-resistant models resembling the now-extinct Rangifer Tarandis were attached to the front of the sleigh in a manner that suggests that they are pulling the craft behind them. Gifts given are to be produced by the Beta Temporal Knowledge Artificial Intelligence Unit, commonly abbreviated as BTK AI an AI created by the Foundation that uses time anomalies to know all information across linear time frames. While the BTK AI unit currently only knows information up to an undisclosed year in the 21st century, this year is expected to change at a rate that will be constant enough for Klein to fulfill his duties. All other information to the BTK AI unit is classified. It is currently unknown when Klein will finish his duties as SCP-4255. Klein will finish his role as SCP-4255 on Christmas Day on an undisclosed year within the 22nd century. This concludes today's lecture. Thank you for listening. If indeed you still are, happy holidays or whatever you celebrate, and you're all dismissed. Goodbye. I would like to give a special thank you to Ian J. Olsip, Zargaran, Professor Puffer, The Morrigan, Retalius, Karim L. Ashmui, Savanity, Christoph Kozak Slezak, HMS Lily, The Almighty Fish, Gav the Clumsy Containment Specialist, Spooky Aqua, Pure Osmium, Sayo Dio Damnatus, Brian Sanchez, Matthew Gilmore, Drew Peacock, Eric Corbidge, Longinus, James Saba, and NJ Vojak. If you would like a special thank you at the end of each of my videos, and some other cool stuff as well, visit patreon.com forward slash the Volgan. Thank you.